So welcome to today's stretch and recovery class. I'm Coach Lindsay. Thank you all for joining me as always. Today, like I said, is all just stretch and recovery. So we're gonna be doing a stretching routine solely for flexibility. So we're kind of doing a lot of reach tests, which probably sounds a little familiar from back in like middle school and elementary school when they used to make us do those. But we're gonna be doing a little bit of a couple different versions of those reach tests just to kind of test out our flexibility, see where you're at. There's no really pass or fail type thing to this flexibility stretching routine. It's just kind of getting a good idea of where you're at and then how to improve from there. So we're gonna be working our way up on the upper body and then down to the lower body. And we are going to be doing a few on the ground. So just be prepared for that. But once we're on the ground, we're gonna end on the ground. We won't be getting up and down. The stuff on the ground is very low impact. We're not gonna be getting on our knees or anything like that. So without further ado, that's enough talking from me. Let's go ahead and get started into just a little bit of an upper body warm up. So I want you to get situated with those feet shoulder width apart here, nice and relaxed to roll those shoulders back away from your ears. And we're gonna do some back Backwards, uh, shoulder shrug. So nice and slow and exaggerated, taking those shoulders, rolling them up towards your ears. As you bring those shoulders back, pinch those shoulder blades together like you're holding a pencil in between those shoulder blades and then continue the rotation all the way through. So we'll do about five here in total. Again, nice and slow, really open up that chest. Deep breaths as you come up, exhale as you come down. Excellent job. Two more here. And one more. Excellent job. Now let's take that rotation uh, the other way. So we're gonna take start with those shoulders, come back, really squeeze those shoulder blades together again, and then rolling those shoulders forward, opening up the back as you come down. Again, we'll do five total here. Excellent job. Two more here. And last rotation, finish it out. We're going probably a little bit different paces here. Excellent. So our first upper body flexibility stretch is going to be some chest openers with some bear hugs. So we're going to start with our, our arms nice and wide. So palms should be facing out. And what I want you to do is really squeeze those shoulder blades, pretending like you have a pencil to pinch back there. Now the key to this is we don't wanna have that back arching when, we're, when we have these arms out. We want to keep that back nice and straight and just round those shoulders back. So keep that in mind. We wanna maintain good posture here. And then go ahead and give yourself a nice big bear hug. So this time what I want you to do is try to inch those fingertips. Obviously we're never going to connect those fingertips, but try to get those fingertips as close to each other as possible. Nice big bear hug here. And then open up that chest. We're gonna do this three different times. Each time we do the hug, I want you to try to inch those fingertips closer together. So uh, remember with this one, we're opening up the chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then as we come in, inching those fingertips a little closer. Even if you have to get the, the hug and then inch, inch, really squeeze. and then go ahead and open up. We'll do this one more time. This last time trying to get those fingertips as close to each other as possible. Really open up that chest, nice big deep breath here. And then coming in for that hug. This last time inching those fingertips as close as you can. Hold for three, two, and one. Awesome job, open up that chest roll those shoulder blades back. Next stretch, I'm gonna get on my knees for so that you can see my whole upper body. Please stay standing for this, that way you're not coming up and down. But the next stretch is going to be a little bit of a shoulder mobility stretch. So you can do this a couple different ways. If you have uh, limitations of taking your hand above your shoulder, you can go across your body for this. So I will show both modifications, but we're gonna start with our left arm. It's gonna come up and over, sort of patting yourself on the back here. And then we're gonna take our right hand and pull that elbow back, just making the arm straight. So we don't wanna pull it back super far to where we're arching our back, but just a nice easy stretch here in the tricep. So again, if you have any shoulder limitations, bring that arm across your body like so instead. So once you're up here, we're gonna take five extensions of the elbow. So we're gonna come up, keep holding that elbow. Palm should be facing behind you. We're gonna hold for three, two, 
one, and then we're gonna bring that elbow back. So the only thing that should be really moving here is that elbow joint. You wanna keep your shoulder nice and stabilized with that right hand. Extending up again. Three, two, one. Coming back down, two more here. Really holding that good tricep stretch. Again, it looks like this if you need to bring that shoulder across. And then go ahead and extend that arm out. Three, two, one. Last time here, holding that left arm tricep stretch. Fingertips should be on your back. And then extend that arm up. Hold for three, two, one, excellent job. Release those arms very nice and slow. Roll those shoulders back away from your ears. This time on that right hand. So same thing on this side. So we're gonna take that right arm up. Fingertips are just kind of touching your shoulder here. Arms should be nice and straight throughout. And then pull that elbow back just slightly to where you feel that tricep stretch. We're gonna hold this position for a couple seconds. And then we're gonna extend that arm up. So arms should be nice and straight. Three, two, one. Go ahead and bring that arm back. Each time we do this, you can kind of test out your flexibility, your range of motion with shoulder and pulling that elbow back further, but you don't have to. This is more so just kind of a good elbow, shoulder range of motion exercise or stretch, I should say. So arm goes up, hold for three, two, one. Come back down. Fingertip should be touching the shoulder. And last time here, coming up. Hold for three, two, and one. Ooh, release those arms. Shoulders are feeling nice and warm right now. Roll those shoulder blades back or shoulders back. And then we're gonna end the upper body part of this with some big arm rotation. So instead of just shoulders, we're taking our arms all the way up. So palms are facing down to start. Uh, your hands are facing out. We're gonna come all the way up, rotate those palms behind us, kind of like a gymnast stance. And then we're keeping those palms rotated behind us, squeezing those shoulder blades, opening up the chest, making a full rotation here. We're gonna do this three times total. So up nice and slow, all the way. Really reach up high, rotate those palms out. Keep those palms behind you. Excellent, last one here. All the way up, reach, reach, reach. Extend those hands or those palms out and then coming back down. Awesome job, Mighty Family. Roll those shoulders out. Stay standing. We have a couple standing left before we hit on the ground. So now we're gonna take it into the lower body part of this, which is where we hold most of our flexibility. So we're gonna do some reach tests. Like I said, you probably remember this from back in school, but we're gonna start with a straight leg, legs together reach test. So I want you to take your legs, have about an inch in between your feet. Keep your legs straight, but not your knees locked. I want to see not this where your knees are locked, but a little bit of a slight bend of the knees to where you're still straight. And then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a big inhale, and then we're just going to fall forward. See how close you can get to your toes. Now this part, I want you to just hang comfortably, right? So this is something that you should be able to hold for a long time. We're not in a deep stretch here. This is just giving you an idea of where you're at, right? Are you at your toes? Are you a couple inches above? Are you at your knees? It doesn't really matter that whatever is right for you, right? So we're gonna roll back up and then we're gonna come back down into that and this time I want you to reach a little bit further. Not maximum stretch, but just a little bit further, okay? So coming back down, get to where you start to feel a good stretch, a little bit closer to those toes. Hold for three, two, one, roll back up. Take a little bit of a break. We're gonna do it two more times. The last time should try to be maximum flexibility or maximum stretch. So second time, or next, third time, I guess I should say, <laughs> second time out of the two, we're gonna come right back down. Again, keeping those knees, those legs straight, knees are not locked to try to go a little bit further. Hold for three, two, one. Slowly roll back up. Last time here. So this time you go down, keeping those legs nice and straight, try to get as far as you can or close as you can to those toes, okay? So coming back down, 
Give yourself time to travel down to get as far as you can. You don't wanna feel pain, just a slight stretch. When you feel like you're at your max, we're gonna hold this for three, two, and one. Awesome job. Roll yourself back up. So you'll see where you started at a comfortable position and where you ended on that fourth time. Quite a difference. So keep practicing that to get a little bit more flexible. If you would like to attend more live classes like these, click the link in the description below. Now we're gonna move into a wide stance reach test. So what I want you to do is take those legs nice and wide here, okay? The idea for this first part of the stretch is to take your legs wide enough to where you can touch the ground with either your fingertips or the palms of your hand comfortably. So even if that means you have to adjust a little bit to take those legs wide, you wanna sit very comfortably just like this. So palms or fingertips should be on the ground. Once you have this position, we're going to start inching our feet closer, okay? So take your time with this, but keep your fingers, your palms, your hands on the ground. So inch those feet a little bit closer and just hold. This you can go at your own pace, but I want you to get your feet as close in as possible to where you're still having your hands and your palms on the floor, okay? So once you feel like you can't keep your hands on the floor any longer, that is where you've reached your max. So keep going, kind of take it a little bit at a time. We're kind of inchworming our way up here. Remember to keep that breath going. Try not to hold your breath. Once you feel like you've hit your max, I'm almost there, we will hold for about five seconds. So by now you should be almost at your max. I'm barely able to keep my fingertips on the ground. My feet are still, my legs are still straight. So we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly roll yourself back up. Get a little bit of a head rush there with that. Now, we're gonna do that one more time. So kind of take a look at where your feet are, see how far apart they are. We're gonna try to get a little bit closer this time, okay? So again, just inching your way in, just kind of testing out that flexibility. So start with those legs nice and wide again. Rest those palms, your fingertips on the ground nice and comfortably. Once you have this comfortable position, go ahead and inch those feet in, a little bit at a time here. You wanna inch in, Hold it and then inch in a little bit more. Keeping those legs nice and straight. Excellent job, Mighty Family. Keep going. I know this is a tough one to hold. I've got maybe a little bit left in me, depending on where you're at. Remember that once you hit your max to where you can barely keep your fingertips on the ground, we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, roll yourself back up. Ooh, shake those legs out. So again, pay attention to where you kind of are leaving off and repeat these exercises so that you can get closer and regain that flexibility. So now we're gonna meet ourselves on the ground for a similar reach test, but this time seated. So go ahead and bring yourself to the ground Nice and slow. I know we did a lot of motion up there, but we should be feeling pretty loose now. Next reach test is going to be very similar to our first one. So legs are gonna stay nice and straight. I want your feet pointing up. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take four times to get as close as we can to those toes. So initially this first time is just try to reach for your toes, keeping your legs nice and straight, back rounded, see where you're at. For me, this is comfortable, right? This is where you wanna be. I could probably hold this for quite some time. So keeping a mental note of where we're at. We're gonna bring ourselves back to neutral position and we're gonna take this next time to go a little bit further, right? So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna get a good stretch. We're gonna hold for three, two, one. Pull ourselves back. Take a little bit of a rest. This is a third out of four. So this time try to get a little bit further, okay? And reach, hold for three, two, one, pull yourself back. Four out of four, so this time should be your max. Try to get as far as you can, if not touching those toes this time. And if you can't touch your toes, make sure that you're using your shins kind of as a measure. And go ahead and reach. Three, two, 
and one. Bounce yourself back. Nice, good warmth throughout the hamstrings. But again, as you can see, we start in a nice comfortable position and we end a lot closer when you gradually build that back up, okay? So next exercise is wide leg reach test. So similar to what we did standing, but seated. So I want you to take your legs out in front of you, nice and wide, not too wide. This doesn't have to be super crazy here. It can even be in a little bit closer just if you have range of motion with your hip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to inch our fingers as far away from us as we can, okay? So to start, just the initial test, we're gonna take, we're gonna just place our palms on the ground. So this again should be a very comfortable position. I, I'm not hurting, I'm not feeling like I'm stretching, nothing crazy like that. So gauge where you're at with whatever's comfortable. Bounce yourself back, take a little bit of rest. We'll do this four times as well. So that was number one. Number two, we're gonna inch those fingertips a little bit closer. So your distance can look different than mine, right? You can inch a little bit, you can try to get uh, some good gain. It kind of depends, but once you've got a little bit further, we're gonna hold for three, two, one, pull yourself back, let yourself rest. If you need to bring your legs in closer for a rest, you can. Just make sure you bring them back out. Three out of four, let's go a little bit further. So take those fingertips, you can walk them out a little bit if you need to. Hold for three, two, one, pull yourself back. And this is four out of four, so this should be your max. Try to walk those fingertips out as far as possible. So go ahead and begin your reach. Walk those fingertips out as far as you can go. Reach, reach, reach. Hold for three, two, one. Excellent, sit back. Awesome job, Mighty Family. All right, next part of this stretch is what we call a butterfly stretch. This is actually one of my favorite stretches for flexibility because it's really great on the abductors and adductors. So this is where we're kind of gonna go into a little bit of a yoga pose, but not really. So we're gonna take our feet and touch your feet together. This is really, we're just gonna hold this stretch. So you can have your feet further away from you for a little bit more um, flexibility or range of motion or the closer you bring your feet in, the tougher it will be, okay? So play around with that. Once you have a good distance to where you can sit nice and tall, you can even hang on to your ankles for a little bit of support. We're just gonna hold on to this, uh, this butterfly pose for a little bit. So once we're here nice and comfortable, take a few big deep breaths in with me. One more. Excellent job. Now I want you to try to bring those feet in a little bit closer. We're just gonna do this once. So try to bring it in a little bit closer or as close as you can to yourself, holding onto those ankles nice and tall. Once you have this, we'll hold for three, two, and one. Go ahead and release that butterfly pose. That's a nice kind of intermingled stretch in between all these crazy ones that we're doing. So last two exercises are gonna be on our back. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to the side here again. Go all the way on your back to where you're nice and straight here. We're gonna test a little bit of hamstring flexibility here. I'm gonna start with my left leg. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my leg all the way up to where my right leg is straight and on the ground. My left leg is nice and straight as well. We're gonna grip behind the knee and pull hard towards our chest, just until you feel a good stretch. So you don't have to have a lot of range of motion here. We just want both legs to be nice and straight. So go ahead and hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release. We're gonna do that one more time. This time, try to inch it a little bit further. That part of your hip joint doesn't have a ton of flexibility, so we don't have to do it four times. That would probably be a, a really painful, so we're just gonna do it one more time. This time, trying to get that knee as close as you can to your face while keeping the legs nice and straight. Hold for three, two, and one, release that left leg. Same thing on the right side here, okay? So this first time, just nice and comfortable. Taking that right leg up, gripping behind the knee. Both legs are staying nice and straight. Left leg should stay on the ground. And this should just be a nice comfortable stretch. We'll hold this for about five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and release. Relax those legs. Second and last time around, bringing that right leg as close as you can to your face. So bringing that right leg up, 
that knee, I guess I should say, close to your face. Pull a little bit closer. Hold for three, two, and one. Mighty Family, release that leg. And to cool it down, end it, we're just gonna do a big long body stretch. So we're gonna take our toes, point those toes, keep your legs nice and straight, bringing your arms all the way up and reaching towards that wall behind you and really open, elongate that back. Couple of nice big deep breaths in here. With each breath, try to reach a little bit further to that wall behind you. Last breath here. And relax that body. You can keep laying down. You can sit up, whatever you wanna do, take a nap, totally up to you. But that ends our flexibility session for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep doing a lot of the workouts that we did or the stretches that we did to increase your flexibility. And I will see you all back here next time. Have a great day.